Hey y'all, it's Lana Moore here. I'm back with another video. And according to the title, I'm going to be doing a favorites video for you all. I have not done a favorites video in, I think two years. So this is a thing I used to do on my channel a lot and I thought why not bring it back, share some of my favorite products with you all. Um, before we get started though, welcome. If you're new, welcome to the Sunshine Squad. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Welcome to returning people of the Sunshine Squad as well. Um, I'm sorry y'all, I have not filmed in like a minute, so if I'm a little like stutter stutter, you know, it's okay, okay? So I gotta get used to getting back into the things. But um, we're gonna go ahead and get started because I kinda have a lot of things I wanna show y'all that I've been loving. It's gonna be, I guess, the month of like kinda Kind of the months of like July, August, kind of June. So it's gonna be the like past like three months, kind of like in that, and a little bit of September because I didn't get that much stuff um, for these past few months. Because honestly, due to us wearing masks, I have not been wearing makeup like that. So this is literally my first time actually kind of wearing this much makeup because normally I just be natural with a mask on so yeah so I haven't been able to try that many products but I've accumulated enough stuff in this favorites video to where I can share them with you all so be sure to give this video a thumbs up like comment and subscribe grab a snack and let's go ahead and get into this favorites video also my previous favorites videos I will leave those either in the cards above or in the description box below so you can kind of see some of the products I've gotten in the past. All right, let's go ahead and get started with this favorites video. So the first favorite that I've been loving lately, I kind of have it on my eyes today a little bit, is this Kat Von D tattoo liner in the color Trooper Black. Y'all, I'll like do close-ups of each product. So like you'll kind of cut into like the product cause I know I'm kind of far. Um, yeah, I've been loving this. This is just like the sample size. I got this for like, I believe a Sephora. I think it was Sephora, like a birthday thing. And I had got it and I loved it. It came with like lip, like her lip um, stuff. And then it came with this and y'all, this stuff is bomb. It makes me, no, it makes me feel like I could do wing liner, okay? Because y'all know, y'all know there's not a lot of my makeup looks that I've done have a wing liner. I mean, they look crooked, okay? I don't, I don't feel I'm the best at doing it, and this makes me feel like I'm like a pro, <laughs> okay? So yes, I definitely can see myself purchasing the full size of it to definitely have this on hand. This is my favorite um liner that i've tried i've tried other liners i've tried liquid liner but that's a felt tip pen and that's literally my favorite i'll show that one last let's stick to beauty and then my last favorite is kind of not beauty related but i mean it's in the same category but whatever the next product that i've been i haven't used this a lot but so far that oh y'all bear with me so far the amount that i've used it i have loved it it's the derma blend illuminating banana powder i actually have it under my eyes now as we're speaking i really love it better than the airspun powder i think i told you guys in my last video the just up review that i didn't like how it was making me look patchy and this i really love the way it looks on my skin and how it brightens up my eyes because uh yeah i really do like that and you know sometimes you gotta stick with what you know i've been using dermablend i've used dermablend on my channel before so yeah Gotta stick with what you know sometimes and not be trying to try new things. Okay, the next favorite is actually this palette right here, the Juvia's Place, the Zulu palette. That's actually the palette. This is actually the palette I did this makeup look today with. Y'all, I thought it was gonna be a failure, so like I didn't even film the look because I was like, what if I look stupid on camera? <laughs> So I'm kind of mad at myself. So yeah, it came out really good and I'm really mad that I kind of didn't film it, but whatever. Um, so yeah, here's what the palette looks like. Like I said, I'll show like kind of close-ups on them so you can kind of get a better view. But yeah, this palette, I wanted it for the colors. I was looking for like something colorful. So that's the reason why I got it. And I do love it. I got to play with it a little bit and 
I really love the blend, how the shadows blend and everything. So the next product that I would consider a favorite, I might as well because I use the brushes to do this eye look, are the Jessup brushes. I actually love them. They're my favorite. I can see myself purchasing maybe um, just the eye brushes, like do it by purchasing more just to have on hand um, until I get back to Ulta because I haven't been to Ulta in a minute. To get Morphe, I don't mind, um, you know, including these brushes. I literally did my look, this look, using the Jessup eye brushes. Um, I use, I believe, the two. 2-2 brush and then I use a, one of the crease brushes and then I use um, a detail shader brush like literally use these brushes to create this look and you can see why they're my favorite because <laughs> just saying <laughs> so yes it was definitely a great purchase for me the next product that's a favorite don't mind the fact that some lashes are missing because <laughs> <laughs> I think I gave my sister a pair or my mom a pair. I gave somebody a pair <laughs> and I lost a pair. So <laughs> it's the Ardell Wispies. These are my favorite go-to everyday lash. I unfortunately don't have them on today. I have on another lash that I actually hauled in my Dollar Tree haul. Shameless promo over here. <laughs> I will be sure to leave that video in the cards above or the description box. Um, these are the lashes I got from Dollar Tree. So yeah, um, I don't have these on today, but I did have them on in that haul. So you can see them. And these are literally my go-to everyday lash when I want to just put on lashes and be extra. Yes. So the next products I love, I don't, I have shared setting sprays before on my channel. So my favorite setting sprays, I have three that I've been loving. So I know before in the past I've told y'all I am like combination oily kind of and even though I'm oily I shouldn't be using dewy setting sprays but y'all I'm obsessed with the NYX dewy spray I know I was watching a few of my past favorites videos and I liked the matte version and I'm gonna have to go cop that one again to see why I loved it so much to why it made it to the video um, but yeah, I love the Dewey one as well. This is actually my sister's. I kind of hijacked it for this video, but yes, I love it. Also, I need to replace this one. This is the NYX Radiant Finish. I just randomly um, decided to pick it up to try it. And y'all, I've been using it ever since. Can you hear that? It's literally empty. So yes, I really love it. I can definitely repurchase that one. I did um, incorporate it in the look I have on today, so it is on my face. Um, both setting sprays except this one are on my face. That's what I set my face with today. And the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I saw Alyssa Ashley use this as to why I wanted to get it because you know, she is like a beauty guru. So <laughs> if Alyssa Ashley uses, I know it's great, okay? just. That's just my model right now. So I was like, yeah, I definitely have to give it a try. And yes, I really loved it. I loved it the first day I used it. It literally just felt like the makeup melted into my skin. I was like, where have you been on my life? So definitely give that one a go. All right, next few products. I'll put them together so I won't feel like I'm talking so much. And um, the next products I'm going to put together are lip products. This is my Pink Chiffon Lip Gloss by Forever 21. I've had this for like ancient centuries, it feels like. It's my, I have it on my lips, actually. Um, I have this whole weird lip combo going on, but this is on top of it, as well as like a dose of color lips gloss and all that stuff. But yeah, this is my favorite go-to like lip gloss to set on top of my nudes if I want to make them glossy. It's only a dollar something and it's at Forever 21. I found it at the counter and I think it's on the website too. Um, if I can find any of these products, I'll be sure to link them down below in the description box with the corresponding links. So if you find something you like or you want to try it out because of my recommendation, I'll be sure to have that information for you. The next product is this Revolution. I don't think they still sell this. If I can find it, I'll try to find it for you. It is the Echelon. It's a liquid lipstick. It literally, due to us having to wear a mask, I did apply this one day when I was wearing my mask. I decided to wear makeup under it. And this, my lipstick did not 
get on my mask. The only thing that got on my mask was the makeup itself, but as far as my lips, they stayed on. So I I'm still haven't mastered a mask friendly makeup look, so that's why I haven't came out with one. But yes, this is definitely a go-to if you wanna wear if you're wearing a mask and you wanna have something that's gonna stay on your lips. This is definitely a way to go. Liquid lipstick is definitely the way to go. And this is by um, Makeup Revolution. Next products, I'll put them together because they go hand in hand. Um, this is the e.l.f. 16 hour camel concealer. I use this to cut my crease, okay? Cut it, cut it, cut it, yes. I really love this. This is in the shade Medium Warm. This is the 16 hour camo concealer. Really great to cut the crease. As you see, I use it under my eyes. I use it just all over my face today, okay? And then this is also, I wanted to include this. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover in the shade Classic Tan. This is also a great eyeshadow base. It's a foundation, true enough, but I've um, used it before as a eyeshadow base and I really loved how um, my makeup came out. So if you want to try this out, want something that's more like skin tone and not as bright, this is a really good go-to. Next products, we're going to include them together. First, we're going to talk about this. I love the e.l.f. Um, Instant Brow Lift Pencil and I got it in the shade Deep Brown. I don't have it on my eyebrows today, unfortunately, because I got to get a new one. It's low 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 see is i really low that's how you know i love it <laughs> so i have to get a new one i'm like i don't want to use it just in case i want to use it when i go out somewhere so i do have to replace that one that is a really favorite i love how it looks on my eyebrows i'll probably insert a photo of what it looks like on my eyebrows and then another favorite of mine is the l'oreal telescopic mascara any mascara, I've said this before, I always get the blackest black, ain't no black brown, ain't no black, it's black as black, okay? So I definitely love this, this is really good. I have this on my bottom lashes as well as the top. Okay. We're almost done. <laughs> We're almost finished, y'all. The next product I love is the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in the shade Wisp. I've actually got this years ago. And I wasn't a fan of it at first, but I'm that type of person that gives makeup a chance, it seemed like, later down the line. And I really love the way this looks. I don't have it on today, but it feels like butter. Like, it just, I really, really like it now that I've got to play with it a little bit. You know, sometimes you got to revisit things. Not everything. <laughs> but it's just like when it comes to makeup. All right, and the last product that I love, and I've had multiple sets, you know, due to this pandemic, you can't get your nails done like you want to, okay? So I've been, I went on Amazon, actually pre-pandemic, I went on Amazon prior to Amazon, prior to the pandemic, I went on Amazon and got these nails. I got them in clear. Here's the clear set, kind of like that. And I got them in natural. At first I was gonna get them in white as well, but I ended up not getting the white one. These are natural. I have pictures of myself um, with these nails on, so I'll insert those photos where I actually have them on. Um, however, in the photo, my nails are cut because of my job, I do need to like cut them shorter. Um, however, when you first get them, they are a coffin shape, so. They are naturally long. And I'll insert a photo as, as well, what they look like. A few moments later. Wow. That just fell out my hand. That's great. Okay, but I'm picking up in a minute. I don't feel like bending down, okay? But, um, I just bent down. Interesting. But yeah, I will insert those pictures like on the screen so you can see what they look like when you first apply them. And then when I cut them, shape them and kind of style them to my liking. I really love those nails. They last me for about a week. Um, I'm pretty sure they will last longer, but because of what I do, it is kind of hard to keep them on. You know, my job consists of it's kind of hard for them to not stay on, but I know that my mother has worn them, my sister has worn them, and my mom, um, they have lasted at least a good week. Um, they're press-ons, keep in mind, so they're not gonna last two weeks like your normal acrylics. 
So, but they are, if you want to let's look cute for the weekend, you want something cute, they're really cute to just style up. All right, I've talked enough. Hopefully you all enjoyed my favorites video. If you found something you like, let me know in the comments below that you want to maybe try out. Give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Toodles.